Hello and welcome to another edition of the Solid Rock Minnesota podcast, a place to swing by for a brief moment for some stories or news and things to ponder. It's a place to take a small pause from your busy life. So grab yourself some coffee or a mug of tea or a pop, as we like to call it here in the North Country, and kick back for a moment. Take a breather. Recently I had to renew our tabs for the big conversion van and the camping trailer we pull behind the van when we travel. With the COVID rules still in place at the Department of Motor Vehicles, or the DMV as we affectionately call it, I decided I would give the online renewal a try. I was remembering back to a few months ago in January when we needed tabs and the experience I had. It was just a few degrees above zero and the winds were howling, making it feel like it was about 25 below because only five people could be in the DMV office at a time. The rest of us had to wait outside on the sidewalk. It was a typical Minnesota wait in a line of about 25 people. Everyone maintained their six foot of distance Maintaining a six-foot distance has never been an issue for many Minnesotans. In fact, when the six-foot rule came out, many were asking if that was far enough away as that's about the normal distance a fellow Minnesotan will maintain with another native Minnesotan. Most of us in line were dressed in layers, like they were going to go to a pond hockey tournament after they took care of their DMV business. They were in layers, scarves, choppers, holding their cup of coffee from the quick trip with both hands. There were young newlyweds waiting to get their name changed and address changes on their licenses. There were a couple of older guys in bib overhauls and red plaid ear flap hats waiting together to transfer a truck title. There were active military people there waiting to get things in order before they deployed overseas. And there were the rest of us, that garden variety people who needed current tabs for our vehicles. How did I know all this? Well, after everyone joined in chatting about the cold snap coming and the current Minnesota weather for about 30 minutes, it just got more personal, and everyone shared their reasons for being out there on the sidewalk waiting. By the time it was my turn to go into the building, that the only five people were allowed in at a time, not only did I know the week's weather, but I had learned much about each person on that sidewalk waiting in line. I knew what church they went to or why they didn't attend church. I knew what restaurant they planned to go to the minute the COVID restrictions lifted. And I knew the names and ages of their kids. And I even learned what had been the hardest adjustments for the newlyweds that they'd been facing. I can honestly say that waiting in a long line in frigid temperatures let everyone's guard down in regards to sharing their lives with strangers. Some even were talking politics and what their political stands were. Kind of unheard of topics for strangers to discuss here in the land of the Stoic Swedes. It was just plain crazy, all that was shared so freely. It had to be the cold numbing of the brain that caused everyone to let down their Scandinavian guard. Well, fast forward to spring, and once again I had to go to the DMV to renew tabs that can't be done online. The thought alone of having to go stand in line was putting me in a pretty crabby mood, even before I got out of bed. As I was lying there, I decided to make my mind up that I was going to get up, prepare to stand in line for two hours or more. I would get there at 8.30 before they even opened at 9 and be the first one in line to get my tabs. I was going to just get her done. I had more important stuff to do than spend the entire morning standing in a line. So I decided to do this Cub Scout thing and be prepared for anything. I got up. I premedicated myself with Tylenol for the arthritis in my back and my leg. I dressed in warm clothes. I had done my duty and listened to the morning weather report. It was calling for a cool morning and warming up later in the day. So, dress for winter and be able to peel off layers in case I was still there after the sun started warming up the sidewalks in town. Even though we were in the month of May, it's um, snowed in June several times over the years. My clothes consisted of layers of a t-shirt, a hooded sweatshirt, jeans, shoes, and socks. I had a snack packed with two Girl Scout cookies and my hot chocolate in a mug to sip on for the ride down to the DMV. As the crow flies, the DMV is only six miles directly south of us. But as the road goes, it's more like 23 miles driving through windy roads along many lakes. So off I went to the DMV office. 
I pulled up about 8.20 a.m., only to find a line had already formed. Yep, 40 minutes before they were even going to open, there were 10 people in front of me that had the same idea. So much for being first in line and out right away. I took my place in line, said good morning to those in line with me, and staying the Minnesota eight feet away, I dug out my phone to look at stuff and try to avoid conversation. I just really wanted to stay warm, stand in line silently, and wait my turn. Luckily, the line started out with mostly guys around me, probably feeling the same way. They had their phones out too, but didn't look all that involved in what they were doing. Pretty soon, more people started coming. By 8.55, the line strung all the way down to the end of the block. I looked, and sure enough, the chatter was beginning. First, the weather was discussed for several minutes, and then several talked about how a few months ago they stood out on the sidewalk freezing. And then it happened. A guy who had weathered the cold winter line like I had a few months ago lifted his jeans leg up to show his flannel long johns he was wearing. Everyone laughed really uncomfortably as he did this. I think they were thinking like me, we hardly know you, keep your pants leg down, please. To my surprise, the conversation ended as fast as it was building up when that man showed God and all of us in line his long john underwear. He had crossed the line of personal sharing with the display of his blue-checked long johns. It wasn't so cold as to have frozen our brain cells. We were all in our Minnesota right minds, and the stoic Swedes that we all are knew better than to advance the topic. It was getting way too personal. At that moment, everyone started reaching for their phones and browsing them again. Within an hour of arriving, it was my turn to enter the DMV and take care of my business. I went in, sat in a chair waiting with others. There was like three of us there. We gave each other a quick glance and then stared straight ahead uncomfortably waiting our turn. There's just certain things in Minnesota a person doesn't discuss with a stranger, and underwear is one of them. The aftermath can last for months. You've been listening to the podcast of Solid Rock, Minnesota. We're honored and happy you've taken the time from your busy day to give us a listen. If you've enjoyed spending a few minutes with us, please tell your family and friends to stop by and check us out. Feel free to leave a comment here and subscribe to the Solid Rock Minnesota podcast. You can also stop by and visit our website at www.solidrockminnesota.com. There you'll find links to our blog and also the local weather here at Solid Rock Minnesota. Always a conversation starter. Also, send us your post office mailing address for a free authentic Minnesota postcard with a personal message to you from Solid Rock, Minnesota. There's no strings attached. Just send us your mailing address and we'll send you a postcard. It's all absolutely free to you. We just like hearing from listeners and see where you're all from. Until next time, may you be surrounded with life, laughter, family, and friends, people who truly know you. Many blessings. Many blessings.